Unlike Mercedes-Benz cars with their bacchanalia of indices, BMW has largely preserved the correspondence between the model name and engine size. We discard the first digit 3, the designation of the third series, and separate the remaining two with the comma, most often we get the engine displacement. The letter I at the end means that the unit is gasoline, D, diesel. However, units of the same displacement may have different factory designations and capacities. At the same time, design differences are often insignificant or come down to the firmware of the control unit. But with all the variety of engines, they have almost the same problems. 1. The most common engine is a 2-liter gasoline, models 318i and 320i. Its variants of different power look almost the same. 2. A decent number of used cars with a 2.0 turbo diesel, 320d, came to us from Germany through Belarus. Almost everything is with twisted mileage. It is impossible to find out the real one in most cases. 3. BMW 325i with a 2.5 petrol engine is the second most popular modification. An X-Drive all-wheel drive transmission is already available with this engine. 4. Gasoline engines, 3.0, 335i, 272 and 306 horsepower. The younger one is atmospheric, and the older one is equipped with two turbines. At the same time, the units look almost the same under the hood. The main disease of gasoline engines is the timing drive. Usually, the chain and clutches of variable valve timing, on both camshafts, live no longer than 150 to 180,000 kilometers due to uneven stretching. The chain begins to make noise and sooner or later jumps a few teeth. Sometimes things come to a halt. In the first case, the pistons may not meet the valves, and in the second, expensive repairs are inevitable. Inline four-cylinder gasoline engines 1.6 and 2.0 also distinguish themselves by the leakage of the sealing rings of the timing chain tensioner. Over time, the bolt of its fastening weakens from vibrations. This can happen on any run, but the result is only a decrease in the oil level. The chain tension does not weaken. By a run of 100,000 kilometers, the variable valve timing clutch control solenoid is clogged with oil deposits. This immediately affects the dynamics, and it happens that the motor goes into emergency operation. The solenoid can be reanimated, removed and washed. If you change the oil in the engine more often, then this operation will not come soon. On gasoline engines with a working volume of 2.0 liters, instead of the usual throttle valve, a system with variable intake valve lift valvetronic, is used. Its electric motor is coked with oil deposits and eventually jams. This usually happens after 100,000 kilometers. Unfortunately, a jammed knot can no longer be saved, but the term of his death can be delayed by more frequent oil changes in the engine. Maintenance schedule, the timing of any work is not regulated. Everything is at the mercy of the electronic brain, period for changing the oil in the engine, replacing brake pads and fluid, etc. All gasoline engines suffer from rapid wear of valve stem seals on timing valves. Because of this, closer to 80,000 kilometers, oil consumption increases greatly. The crankcase ventilation unit located in the valve cover is also short-lived. Sooner or later, oil deposits clog it and it begins to drive lubricant into the intake system. Unfortunately, this assembly cannot be flushed, only a replacement. At the output, we have increased oil consumption and a large deposit on the elements of the valve mechanism. The trouble is that on gasoline engines with a volume of 2.5 liters or more, this block is built into the valve cover, that is, it is not a separate spare part. The price of the part is about 20,000 rubles. Extend the life of the problem node, again, more frequent replacement of engine oil. And for dessert, a very controversial and extremely incomprehensible decision of German engineers to remove the oil dipstick from gasoline engines of that time. The liquid level is monitored only by a sensor in the sump, which provides information to the onboard computer. According to the law of meanness, this partisan begins to lie after about 100,000 kilometers. Often, erroneous readings lead to fatal consequences for the motor. The real amount of oil can be found out only by draining it. According to servicemen, the fragility of the sensor is also related to the quality of our fuel, which one way or another gets into the oil. After all, such a problem is not typical for cars imported from Germany, despite the fact that many have already run over 200,000 kilometers. Unfortunately, diesel engines also let us down, despite the fact that their oil level sensor is duplicated with a familiar dipstick. The supercharged 2.0 engine, 
and 47, has the same chain stretch problems. The trouble is that against the background of the rattling of a diesel engine, its increased noise is poorly distinguishable. The problem can manifest itself at any run. Most often this happens after 100,000 kilometers, but it also happened at 30,000. However, some manage to drive without replacing the chain and 250,000. Much depends on the mode of operation. The quieter the ride, the longer it will live. The manufacturer has already changed suppliers of the problem parts several times. In appearance, the freshest chains, the sample of 2014, do not differ structurally from their predecessors. The engine oil level sensor also evaluates the condition of the oil. Practice has shown that in Russian conditions this function is only harmful. Incorrect sensor readings cause an incorrect calculation of the oil change interval by the onboard computer. It turns out to be too high. Replacing a chain on a 2.0 diesel is very laborious. The timing mechanism is located at the rear, on the side of the gearbox, so the motor must be removed. When replacing the chain, a hidden problem may surface. By about 100,000 kilometers, the rollers of the rockers, pushers, of the valve mechanism break. This happens quite often, but does not affect the behavior of the motor and does not lead to serious problems. Usually rockers are changed for the company with the chain. Supercharged inline six-cylinder diesel 3.0 existed in two main versions, with indexes M57 and N57. The M57 motor, the so-called pre-styling, had a cast iron cylinder block and a front timing drive. N57, younger, changed cast iron to aluminum, and the timing was changed to the rear. Despite the differences, both motors are still the most reliable in the line, but the M57 is still more preferable. The chain on diesel 6s also sometimes stretches, but much less often than on a four-cylinder 2.0 engine. But the problems with crankcase ventilation are deeper than those of gasoline engines. Very often, the block has to be changed already at 30,000 kilometers. Fortunately, it is sold separately from the valve cover. It is not worth pulling with the replacement of a faulty unit. The combustion products of the oil that it drives into the intake system accelerate the clogging of the particulate filter. In the clutch of variable valve timing, colloquially, venos, the external retainer spring first fails, and then the inside of the assembly. On all diesel engines, after 100,000 kilometers, the glow plugs and their control unit die. The problem pops up mainly in winter in the form of a difficult start of the engine. Servicemen recommend changing all the elements at once if at least one candle fails, so as not to return several times and not spend extra money. An absurd problem. For all turbo diesels, after 100,000 kilometers, the rubber damper filler of the crankshaft pulley begins to collapse. In the worst case, it comes to a gap, and the pulley can fall off altogether. As it turned out, clogged, usually after 100,000 kilometers, particulate filters can be washed. The method is artisanal, but effective. The assembly is removed from the car and the insides are washed several times with the high-pressure washer, for example, cartridge. Next, chemistry is poured into it, active foam for washing cars, and sometimes even dishwashing detergent, and left for half a day. Then everything is washed again with the high-pressure apparatus and put on the car. They complete the case by forcibly turning on the particulate filter regeneration process. According to servicemen, in 90% of cases, a node worth 120,000 rubles can be reanimated. The rapid elongation of timing chains designed to last the life of engines has become a problem for some automakers. It is unfortunate that many of them are German. All BMW engines are very sensitive to overheating. Therefore, those who operate the car often are advised to flush the radiators every year with their complete removal. The operation is not cheap, but it will save you from immeasurably higher costs, since it increases the engine life. In the attachments of all motors, rollers begin to whistle by 70 to 80,000 kilometers, and the belt itself is usually enough for 100,000. The resource of turbines on gasoline versions is from 150,000 kilometers, and on diesel engines, from 200,000. The car is not very large, so the load on these nodes is quite gentle. So, reducing the oil change interval will significantly postpone the onset of many problems with engines, and some of them will even win. The trouble is that the onboard system for calculating the oil change period lives its own life and sometimes gives out fabulous intervals of 20 to 25,000 kilometers, which in our conditions is akin to a sentence for the engine. The longer you put off replacing faulty glow plugs, the more difficult it will be to unscrew them later, due to soot.
the risk of getting into expensive repairs with the removal of the cylinder head increases. Servicemen urge you to think with your own head and change the oil every 10,000 kilometers. Transmissions. On the Treshki, they put GM and ZF machines. An American brainchild is a rarity. The GM box was used only in tandem with the 2.0 petrol engine, 150 and 156 horsepower. The only problem with this machine is the gear selection valve in the valve body. After 100,000 kilometers, and mainly in winter, a fragile plastic slider drive breaks in it. Fortunately, the valve is available as a separate spare part. ZF gearboxes are even designed for more powerful motors than those in the E90 line. Therefore, there are almost no problems with them. True, on top-end motors after 150,000 kilometers, where are the bushings on the shafts, seats, on which the elements of the planetary gears are fixed is still possible. The average resource of the machine is usually 200 to 250,000 kilometers. Official dealers do not restore boxes, but some independent services are ZF partners and carry out any repairs. The oil in the machines must be changed every 60,000 kilometers. Both models have an early lockup torque converter. The clutches of this mechanism slip, especially when driving through traffic jams, and the wear product spread throughout the box. Who would have thought that the crankshaft pulley could fall off due to a rupture of the rubber filler damper, not only on the old front-wheel drive Lada, but also on a relatively fresh diesel BMW. Unfortunately, the oil filter is not able to filter them out. The result is increased wear of the elements of the box and malfunction of the valve body. This is typical mainly for powerful motors. Statistics on manual transmissions is very poor, very few such cars were sold. The all-wheel drive transmission of the BMW X-Drive is reliable, there are no problems with it on the light and not very power-armed E90 sedan. The same oil seals and anthers of drives are changed extremely rarely, including on rear-wheel drive cars. Steering. The steering is not annoying, leaking or knocking rails is a rarity. Steering tips and rods are changed mainly due to souring, when it is impossible to adjust the convergence. Suspension. Pretty reliable and suspension. If problems do arise, then closer to 100,000 kilometers, shock absorbers are broad in the front suspension. It is advisable to change them along with the thrust bearings, and in the rear, floating silent blocks in the upper wishbones, which usually break after 80,000 kilometers. The resulting creak will warn of their imminent death. Front brake pads are enough for an average of 35,000 kilometers, rear, or 45,000. Brake discs typically outlive two sets of pads. The repair kit for the crankcase ventilation unit for gasoline engines with a volume of less than 2.5 liters also includes pipes. The optics do not fog up and do not melt, of course, in the presence of all covers and seals. The air conditioning system is also very reliable. Cases of replacement of compressors are rare. The internal electrics of the E90 Treshka are quite simple, but not without problems. From the battery located in the trunk, two positive wires depart. One of them is connected to the fuse box behind the glove box. A poor quality connection between them melts over time, and at one fine moment you will not be able to open the car from the key fob or, much worse, turn on the ignition. This problem usually occurs after 40,000 kilometers. As a result, you have to change the fuse box and the battery wire to a modified one. The second positive wire partially runs along the bottom of the car. One of its connections is located under the rear right wheel arch. A lot of dirt will get into this place, and the contact begins to rot. As a result, gasoline engines 1.6 and 2.0 can even go into emergency mode due to the failure of one of the relays. Due to severe battery discharge, AUX input often fails in conventional audio systems without a monitor. The problem is treated by recoding the head unit. A specific disease of the E92 coupe is a possible failure of the seat belt feed mechanisms. The electric motor on the driver's or front passenger side dies. It is beyond repair. What Russian doesn't love fast BMW cars? True, it is generally accepted that, having excellent driving performance and high status, these initially expensive cars are extremely expensive in terms of maintenance. However, the experience of operating the 3 rubles of the E90 series fundamentally breaks these established stereotypes. The fifth generation of the BMW 3 Series was introduced in late autumn 2004. It was traditionally a sedan, which was assigned the E90 index. In the spring of 2005, the E91 station wagon joined the sedan, and a year later, 
the E92 coupe and the E93 convertible built on its basis added to the range of modifications. Sales of a charged version of the BMW M3 in sedan and coupe bodies started only in 2007. And in January of the following year, the M3 nameplate was also awarded to the convertible. The car was equipped with the drive only on the rear wheels and on all four. The X-Drive all-wheel drive transmission, borrowed from the X3 and X5 crossovers, was combined with petrol and diesel sixes. Dealer BMW 3 Series are equipped with a package for countries with a cold climate. The most popular versions for our market were assembled at a plant in Kaliningrad. Complete set of Treshki will not disappoint the second owner. Initially, in the base, standard, pre-styling versions had six airbags, ABS with EBD, a stabilization system, electric windows and mirrors, heated front seats, air conditioning, CD receiver and run flat tires, there was no spare wheel. Our dealers sold E90 in business and business plus versions. The first provides for metallic color, automatic, multifunctional leather steering wheel, alloy wheels, rear parking sensors, xenon headlights with washer, rain and light sensors, dual zone climate control. The business plus added leather upholstery, front parking sensors, and cruise control and the execution of Business Plus Navi came with russified navigation. After restyling, equipment levels have sunk into oblivion, the basic level of equipment and a wide list of options remain. Engine. Almost a dozen power units were offered for the Bavarian sedan. Let's focus on those that were put on dealer cars. These are gasoline, fours, with multi-point injection of 2 liters, 115, 129 and 150 horsepower and a pair of R6 with a volume of 2.5 liters, 218 horsepower, and 3.0 liters, 258 horsepower. Turbo diesels are represented by 2.0 liter, 163 horsepower, and 3.0 liter, 231 horsepower, engines. All engines were combined with six-speed manual or automatic transmissions. Since 2008, all engines of European versions have been upgraded, they have acquired direct injection, and their power has increased. Gasoline engines are equipped with the chain and the timing drive, and they all sin with an oily appetite. On the fours and inline sixes, the sensors, 2,500 rubles, of the position of the camshafts, usually exhaust, fail. Lambda probes, 3,560 rubles each, deteriorate from our gasoline, two or four, depending on the engine. Catalysts, 38,500 rubles each, often die with age. There are two of them on the R6 and R4 of the N46 series. On units with the valvetronic system, the electric motor burns out. This comes from thickened oil, which is prescribed to be changed, as by European standards, after two years or 24,000 kilometers. But in Russian conditions, the crankcase ventilation system becomes clogged, which knocks out oil seals and gaskets. The onboard computer reminds you to change the oil, usually at 12 to 15,000 kilometers. And these instructions must be followed. Our six are more prone to overheating due to the failure of the pump, from 4,500 rubles, and thermostat, 2,000 rubles. At risk, a mass air flow sensor, from 9,500 rubles, and a throttle control unit, from 4,900 rubles. Direct injection engines on post-styling machines are more demanding on the quality of fuel and oil. Turbo diesels delight with reliability. On the most massive 2 liter to 150,000 kilometers, the torsional vibration damper of the crankshaft pulley is stratified, 10,000 rubles. The exhaust gas recirculation valve, from 5,600 rubles, is short-lived. And it is better to change glow plugs, 1,000 rubles each, preventively every 5 years, even one failed candle entails the replacement of their control unit, 15,000 rubles. Injection nozzles, 12,000 rubles each live up to 250,000 kilometers. The turbocharger, about 50,000 rubles, and the high-pressure pump can withstand the same amount. Transmission. MCP is reliable. With age, only penny seals change. Do not pull with the replacement of the clutch, 11,500 rubles, the service life of which is on average 100 to 120,000 kilometers, change immediately if slip occurs. Otherwise, spend money on a new dual-mass flywheel. 30,000 rubles. Automatic machines are durable. They go up to 250 to 300,000. Automatic transmissions manufactured by ZF and GM were installed on the three rubles, the latter being considered more reliable. After 100,000 kilometers, 
there is a risk of running into repairs, from 50,000 rubles, of friction clutches due to weak plane bearings. The torque converter, hydraulic control unit and oil pump are also at risk. In the X-Drive transmission, by 200,000 kilometers, the servo drive of the multi-plate clutch of the transfer case may fail, from 16,500 rubles. Chassis and body. The Treshka suspension is exceptionally strong. The weak point in the McPherson front struts are the stabilizer struts, which serve 30 to 80,000 kilometers, depending on the driving style. They cost 1450 rubles each, and the non-original is half the price. Ball bearings assembled with a lower aluminum lever, 5,700 rubles each, can withstand 100,000 kilometers. Although riders during this time can change them several times, a one-time replacement of silent blocks is also allowed separately from the lever. Approximately 70 to 100,000 are nursed by shock absorbers, 10,500 rubles each, and wheel bearings, 11,000 rubles each. Non-original parts cost 4,000 and 3,100 rubles, respectively. In the rear multi-link with five steel levers, a floating silent block, 990 rubles, is unreliable, which lives 50 to 60,000 kilometers shock absorbers, 6,000 rubles each, usually flow to 70 to 100,000 kilometers. In the steering, the sore point is the rail, 48,000 rubles, nursing, on average, 120,000 kilometers. Although with light tapping you can drive another 50,000 kilometers or more. But before this period, the power steering pump may leak. Body. The body of the BMW 3 Series, in principle, does not rust. And if there is corrosion on a used car, turn around and leave, these are traces of handicraft repairs after the accident. But from anti-icing reagents, chrome parts of the external decor become cloudy and covered with bubbles. With age, door handles stick, washing and cleaning at the service will result in 1,500 rubles. The central locking drives fail. They change assembled with an actuator and an electric motor for 7,700 rubles. Per set. The station wagon of the third series, which according to the BMW classification is traditionally called Touring, started six months later than the sedan. The car looks very harmonious and presentable thanks to the sloping roof line and the large angle of inclination of the rear pillars. True, for the sake of beauty, I had to sacrifice the volume of the trunk, which reaches only 1385 liters with the seats folded down. This is less than that of a golf class station wagon. The BMW 3 Series Touring is endowed with a reinforced rear suspension compared to the sedan, and the range of engines and technical stuffing for both modifications are identical. We sold it in generous equipment, which is why the overpayment for the body was a very impressive amount, 10,500 euros. Therefore, the demand was low. In the summer of 2006, the line of modifications of the Treshka expanded due to the BMW 3 Coupe Coupe and the BMW 3 Cabriolet hardtop convertible built on its basis. Official sales in Russia began at the beginning of 2007. The two-door was offered with us with 2.0-liter gasoline engines, 150 horsepower, and in line, sixes, 2.5 liter, 218 horsepower, 3.0 liter, 218 and 272 horsepower, and 3.0 liter twin turbo, 306 horsepower, and 2 liter turbo diesel, 177 horsepower. Moreover, for six cylinder coupe modifications, it was possible to order an X drive all wheel drive transmission, but open cars are content exclusively with rear wheel drive. Yes, and the BMW 3 Cabriolet line was somewhat truncated compared to the coupe. Only gasoline engines were installed on the convertible, fours with a volume of 2.0 liters, 170 horsepower, and R6 with a volume of 2.5 liters, 218 horsepower, and 3.0 liters, 218 and 272 horsepower, as well as a 3 liter turbocharged output of 306 horsepower. During the modernization at the end of 2008, the appearance of the three ruble note was retouched, changing the mirrors, bumpers, trunk lid, and optics. For the sake of fans of the taillights, the L shape, traditional for the brand, was returned. But inside the car has not changed much. The range of engines included gasoline, fours, with a volume of 2.0 liters, 136 and 156 horsepower, and R6 with a volume of 2.5 liters, 218 horsepower, and 3.0 liters. 218 and 272 horsepower, as well as the flagship 3-liter 306 horsepower equipped with two turbochargers. 
There are two turbo diesels, a 2 liter, 4, 177 horsepower, and a 6 3.0 liter, 245 horsepower. The modifications most in demand on our market were assembled at Aptoden.